Yvette. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Yvette? Fine. How was your vacation? Uh, fine. Um, I have to work in the morning, but I, I am relaxed. Good. I'm very tired. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Flor, George, Maria, Yvette, Carla, Zaira. It's good to see you again. How was your vacation? Did you rest? That's nice. Yes. Good. How many days of vacation did you have? Um, in my case, I have the same every week. All the week? All, All the, the week. week. Good, good. So you rested uh, eight, in, seven days? Seven, seven days. Seven, seven days. Seven. Seven. Good, good. That's nice. Good. I rested two days. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I rest two days too. So I was free uh, Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday are my usually days off, but but two days are two days. Yes. <laughs> so I, 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 I rested. I slept. Yep. All right. Welcome back. What's today's date, people? Today is August, August 9th, 2021. Excellent. August 9th, 2021. That is correct. Um, so July is history. July is part of the past. Now we go with August. All right. Um, any questions or comments about our last class? Last class. No. Do you remember your last class? <laughs> yes. I know you were reading every day on vacation. Like, I want yeah, to give you my English. Sure. So it, it, it's a rhetorical question. I know you, uh, you don't have any questions uh -huh. about our last class. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, so let's, let's begin. Um, I know that you guys did different things on vacation. Let's give a few more minutes to the ones that are still incorporating. So this is gonna be our first um, interaction. You guys are gonna be working in pairs and you will talk about the different activities you guys did on vacation. When we talk about the different activities you did on vacation, which tense are we going to use? Past tense. Which past? past tense. Which past. Simple, simple past. past. You can also say past continuous. You can also use past perfect. You can also use used to if you wish. So you make a combination of the different past tenses that we have. So let me put this here. And remember, when you're using the simple past tense, pay attention uh, to the ED pronunciation of verbs in the past. So create, add, and here we go. Talk about the different activities you guys did on vacation. Go ahead. Vacation, vacation, not vacation, vacation.
is not uh, good for me. Yes, because I, I them on time too. Yes. So um, uh, the the next day I I were in my house. I want to. I want to to see the bahia and it's so beautiful. <laughs> And really? I, yeah, and I saw them.
All right. Any questions on how to express your ideas in the simple past tense? I have a, a question about vocabulary. Yes, Carla. How do you say, I don't know how to say it. I mean, I, I know how to say it in Spanish, but how do you say the ulito that I have in my bracket? The who? The, lo, los ulitos que tengo en mi bracket. Well, I, I have never seen uh, <laughs> phrases that close, but if you're talking about ule, you will say rubber. How? Rubber. Let, let me put it in the chat. Okay. Rubber. Oh, okay. And also, I don't remember how do you say tío. Tío. Um, yes. How do you say tío uncle. in English? Uncle. 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 Yes. So how do you say, uh, like, a take a ride in a land, in a boat? Or... Yeah. You take a ride. Yeah. It's correct. Yeah, you take a ride. Yeah. In a boat. Yeah. It's a little like a lunch. Yeah. So, so remember, you take a ride in a car, on a boat, a small boat. So you say take a ride. Okay. Thanks. Uh huh. Now, if you're talking going from the United States to El Salvador, it, it's not a it's not a okay. ride. It's a voyage. It's different. How do you? Can you put in the chat? Uh -huh. Sure. Write that. Like like when they used to bring. Um, Slaves from Africa oh, to the gosh. American continent. It was a long voyage. Yeah, yes. long voyage. And what is the meaning of that in in Spanish? Uh, it's a long trip by boat. A long, long trip, trip by boat. Example: mm -hmm. uh, when people used to come from Africa to the American continent or now uh, bringing merchandise from China to El Salvador. It takes two months, that's a voyage. Voyage. Mm -hmm. Voyage. Yes. But did you say no. when we go in the airplane? Mm, no, that's a trip. A uh, voyage is a trip by water. A trip by water. Yeah, exactly. Any <laughs> other questions, people? Teacher, yes, I want to, to tell something to for a classmate. Yes, please go ahead. Okay, uh, my daughter got the Moderna machine. Okay. It's for Carla. <laughs> we we um, we didn't finish the conversation in the room, <laughs> <laughs> and I want to, to tell her that. <laughs> How old is your daughter? Uh, 16 years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's ready for the vaccine. <laughs> yes. By okay. the way, did, did everybody in the group get their vaccine already? Yeah. Today I got yeah. the vaccine. You got it today? Okay. Mm -hmm. First or second? The second one. Okay. In my case, only the first. Only the first one. I'm waiting for the second. When When is the second one, Yolanda? Uh, that will be at... August 23. 23rd. Ah, the, the May is 20, the second one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. So everybody needs to get vaccinated. You know, it's 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 part of the process. You know, the, the pandemic came. Now there is a vaccine to fight it. So, you know, and it doesn't have to do with political ideologies like just go get your vaccine in period you know yeah. right. religious, religious too. right or some people take it from their religious side they say no yes. you know like yeah uh, so vaccine is a vaccine you know you you get a vaccine for your influenza you get a vaccine for your polio you know so it's a things that Nobody likes the sensation of getting injected, but it's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's continue. Uh, today's topic is um, sequence adverbs. 
What is a sequence? What's a sequence? Sequence. It's a sequence. Okay, but, but okay, but imagine that I don't speak Spanish. I don't understand sequence. Okay. The word sequence. Steps is about the steps. Steps. Yeah. Steps. Yeah. Steps. The chronology on how to do something. Yes. So there are. Uh, George. Qualification. Uh, one more time. Qualification. Qualifications for what, uh, George? Uh, sequence. It's like a, a plan. planification. Okay, yeah, yeah. A, a planification is, is a better yeah. word. Right, yes. So, um, sequence adverbs, they are used to indicate uh, what you do first, second, third, fourth, fifth. But we don't say first, second, third, fourth, fifth. We use sequence adverbs, right? Mm -hmm. Let me show you this. Uh -huh. Right here. Okay, can you see my image? Yes. Yes. Okay. So number one is always first. That's not negotiable. When you start explaining a process, uh, a chronology of events, you will always start with first. And you will always finish with finally. So first and finally, they are not negotiable. First is always first. That's redundant. And finally, it's always at the end. Now, what are the three that you can put in different orders? It's then, next, and after that. So after first, you can say after that, then you write next, then you write then, and at the end, you put finally. So two, three, and four are interchangeable. That means that you can change positions uh, with one another. So then next after, you can write after next then, or you can say next then after that. And the meaning of what you're explaining will always be the same. Questions or comments? No? No. Okay. No. Do you guys like sandwiches? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite sandwich? The chicken sandwich. Chicken oh, sandwich? Chicken sandwich, yeah. too. Okay. With jam and cheese. Okay, ham and cheese. Oh, yeah, they're delicious. Yeah. I'm on butter. Yeah. <laughs> what about peanut butter and jelly? Do you guys like peanut butter and jelly? Yes, I yes, love it. Course. Delicious. <laughs> it's my favorite, too. Yeah. I prefer almond butter, teacher. Okay. Um. You know, in my house, I'm the only person that likes peanut butter and jelly. My me children, they, they, they tell me, why do you eat that so much? How can you like that? I <laughs> said, well, I just like it. <laughs> me too, in my family too. My mom, for her, is kind of disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the good thing that you're the only person that likes it is that the That is only will... for you. Right. <laughs> So you make it last longer because nobody else is going to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Any questions on how to use the sequence adverbs? No. Okay. When we're talking about cooking, besides a sandwich, what is something that is simple to prepare? Simple. Something that it's not complicated. Right. Pupusas. <laughs> no. Pupusas are <laughs> difficult to make. <laughs> there are too bread. much. A sandwich bread. too. Okay, right. a sandwich. Right. Bread. Bread with also what? Also eggs. Right. Mustard. Rice. Mayonnaise. Okay. Water. So you say <laughs> stuffed bread. Stuffed bread. Let me put it here. Stuffed bread. Stuffed bread. Stuffed bread. Stuffed bread means bread. panes rellenos. Bread. What oh. do you put inside? 
beans, eggs, ham and cheese. Uh, so anything that you put, like if they ask you, so what is a typical breakfast uh, on a Friday? I'm sorry. Oh, a typical breakfast on my Friday? Stuffed bread. Panes rellenos. So you, you explain if they're beans, eggs, cream, cheese, mm -hmm. ham and cheese. So stuffed bread. Okay. What about okay. marichan soups? Is it complicated to prepare a marichan soup? No, no. Ben, it isn't. Yeah. A hot cake is yes. done. Okay. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, okay. Are not complicated. It's complicated. Okay, yeah, I don't think it's complicated. I mean, like uh, soups, sandwiches, pancakes, I guess. Spaghetti. Okay. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Okay. So for you to prepare those dishes, you don't need to be a chef, you know. <laughs> so if right. Francisco can prepare it, I'm sure you can prepare it. Because uh, it doesn't take a magician to, to prepare those dishes. So anyways, this will be um, the second activity. You will be working with someone. I'm going to put you with someone different. You have to choose one dish that is easy to prepare. A sandwich, uh, an egg sandwich, maruchan, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, pancakes, whatever you think is easy for you to prepare. What's the idea when you're explaining the process? You have to use the sequence of any questions or comments. No. Okay, let me send you this image. Da -da -da. It's right here. Send it to 9 to 10 p.m. And there you have it. So let me make the group, the pairs again. Pair work activity. Recreate. All right, so hopefully you're going to be working with a new person. And here we go. Choose one dish, anything that is easy, spaghetti, sandwich, maruchan, or, or prepare mango with hot sauce, lemon, and whatever, but just use the sequence others. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie.
a bread, bread, right, with cheese, and I put put it the meat, and then I just. It's very difficult. Sometimes I cook a uh, uh, sauce for the omelet uh, with tomato. And when I don't, eh, como se dice, deseos, I don't, deseos de cocina. Oh, I don't, I don't feel like cooking. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. I don't feel a cook. Oh. And I put next I put some I put salt and then and finally you you can taste that. I don't know. Oh. What's another? The orange juice. Oh, orange juice. Okay. Yeah. First, uh -huh. what, what what do you what do you make? I really don't like it. I know. Finish the time. No, this this teacher. I used to put just oh. ah, the teacher is in here. Yes, yes. I am. How are you doing? Fine, teacher. We are in the second recipe. <laughs> With the second recipe? Yes. <laughs> who, who was the first one to speak? Uh, Felix. Felix, who was second? Uh, in Maria. my case. Uh, oh. So, Flor, you're next. Yes, I was yeah. the finish. The, okay. finish the, the last one. And, and what is the dish you are preparing? We we talk about one dish. Uh -huh. uh, in my case, I I talk about the how how can you do the or cook the rice. Good. What kind of rice? Uh, I said that I used to cook uh, steamed rice. Uh huh. Uh, but I explained the 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 common way to cook the rice okay the easy way the easy way yeah. good nice all right let me visit another room and then okay. we go to the main session and it's uh, and i'm wait five minutes then after that the eggs and the beans i'm ready i like to prepare a, i like to put the the bread in I don't know how to say in in the how do you say the things that you put the bread? Which bread? The the ah. like like pie, mister. Uh, the 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 bread like like pan de caja, but there is a, a machine that you put it. Oh, the toaster. The uh, toaster. Ah, okay. Toaster. Uh huh. So I okay, put okay, the. Okay. The bread in the, the bread. toaster, and I put. Sorry, there are my things. <laughs> okay. I put it, the bread in the toaster two minutes, and I wait for that. And okay. finally, I prefer the banana. Uh, Mister, sorry for all the noise here. Uh huh. Uh, banana is okay to say to uh -huh. the platano. No, banana means guineo. If you want uh -huh. to say platano, you say plantain. 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 Let me spell it. Plantain. Plantain. Plan. Like plan? Yeah, plantain. Plantain. Yep, plantain. Okay. So, uh... Uh, finally, I prepared the plantain, and I put a little bit plantain. oil. I I cut the plantain in a little pieces, 
and I put it in the in the in the in the fry pan, pan with a little bit of oil, and I wait mm -hmm. one minute, no, two minutes, and then I'm I'm changing. I lo volteo. Yeah, you, you you flip it. Flip. Um, flip. Flip. Mm -hmm. flip I flip P. them. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no. No. You flip it. It's, it's it's if it's past tense, then then it's double P. But if it's uh, uh, present, you flip, flip it. Flip it. Uh -huh. yeah, flip so, it. Uh huh. So I flip it. Uh huh. Uh, and then I put it in the in the dish. Is correct now. Yeah, platform. on the dish. Yeah. On the dish, I put it. On the dish, I put the egg with jam and the beans. Ham. And ham. 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 With ham, I put the beans and also the plant. Plantain. 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 And I put the plantain and the bread. And okay. it's ready to eat. Good. Okay. All right. Let's ah, go back to the, the main session. <laughs> and also the cream. I put the, the a little cream, bit of cream you to the beans <laughs> because I really love the cream with beans. All right, good. Me too, me too. Let's go back to <laughs> okay. the main session. Okay. okay. Bye bye. All right. Any questions about how to use the sequence adverbs? No. You know, listening to you, you're preparing uh, pancakes, sandwiches, uh, spaghetti, and all that. You know, I, I start to feel hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I had a nice dinner. You know, my wife, she prepared some delicious pupusas. Mm. Really, 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 really good. So good I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> me too. And Cody, explain me. Uh, uh, explain to me. Explain to me uh, how to prepare pancakes. And the way that she prepared pancakes are delicious. <laughs> good. 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 Yes, That's yes, the idea, course. learning something new. Yes. How to prepare food yes. in another way. Good, good, nice. All right, so any questions or comments about how to use the, the sequence adverbs? Teacher, how, yeah. do you say, how do you say cilantro? Uh, coriander. Coriander. Let me see it. Can you put it, put it in the chat? Yeah, coriander. 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 Mm -hmm. And some people, they oh also God, say cilantro. They say cilantro. Also, can you put platano? Because you say plantain, plantain. but I don't know. Plantain. It's, it's right before coriander. Plantain. Plantain. Plantain ah. means uh, uh, ah. platano. 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 Right. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Sure. How, how do you say crema chantilly? Crema chantilly? What is crema chantilly? What? I don't know what crema, crema chantilly is. Okay. Is a... On the cake? Or in the frappes? Oh, whoop cream. Oh, whoop cream. Is that the name in Spanish? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or crema batida. Yeah, whoop cream. Yeah. Whip cream. Whip cream. Whip cream. Oh. I had heard that name before, but I never paid attention to it. Teacher, please. Yeah. This is important. Yes. <laughs> yeah, especially if you love eating, you're you're supposed to be familiar with all of this course. vocabulary. <laughs> all right. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments? How do you say huevos revueltos? How do you say what? Huevos revueltos. Okay, anybody knows how to say huevos revueltos? Mix eggs. Mix eggs. No. Scramble. Right? Yeah, exactly. Scramble. 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 Thank you. Yeah, in El Salvador we say picados, right? Yes. But if you go to Mexico, you say revueltos, right? How do you say huevo estrellado? <laughs> It's very easy. When you go to a restaurant, 
and let's say you're in breakfast time, you think about the process of how you prepare the egg. So what is the process for huevo estrellado? You fry it. So you say fry Friday. Egg. Friday. Friday, right? How do you say huevo duro? What is the process to prepare a huevo duro? Boil, 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 egg. Egg. Exactly. boil, boil, exactly. boil, 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 Half, half boil. boil. Half, half boil. boil. Half boil. Yes. Half boil. So when you go to a restaurant in New York and you think about, oh, I want to have a nice breakfast and I want two eggs, the waiter is going to ask you, how do you want your eggs? So just think about the process. Oh, scramble, uh, fried egg, boiled egg, half boil, omelet. Pichere. Yep. Y huevo como, huevo en torta, o torta de huevo. You mean like omelet? <laughs> eh, it's similar, but it doesn't have any. Really? Yes. I would say omelet. I don't know if, uh, what, what, what's the difference between the omelet and la torta de huevo? Is it the ingredients that you use? De form. It's like tortilla. Uh -huh. yeah, and omelet is enrollado. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I would say omelet, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. An egg omelet. A plain omelet. Yep. Any other questions or comments? Peter, how do you refer about, uh, about cacerola or cazuela? Uh -huh. Pen. Oh, yeah. Pen. 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 Mm. Pen, pen mm. is la cacerola, where you mm. prepare the, the eggs, the, the beans, that's the egg. Yeah. If you want to talk about olla, you can say pot or wok, like China wok. Wok, wok. Mm -hmm. okay. So a, a wok, wok, like China wok, is usually used to prepare soups or drinks. Like the ladies that sell tamarind or chat and all that, they use woks to prepare the drinks. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else? Any other questions or comments? No? Okay, so remember, uh, let's say you're going on a vacation and you need to give instructions to the person that is gonna be taking your place you are uh, expected to use sequence solvers, right? So okay. first, how do you say marcar tarjeta? Mm, I don't know. No. Punch card. Point. Point card. Now, punch card is the term people used to use in the past because literally, Imagine that this is paper and the paper has your name. So you put it in the machine, the machine stamps it and you take it out. That, that is literally punch card. punch card. But now this doesn't exist anymore. How do you punch card? Biometrical. Yes. Okay. So uh, maybe when you turn on the computer, that activates the time that you arrive. How do you say cafete in English? Batch. 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 Or sometimes the badge that you use in your in your company has like a barcode, and when you register the, the badge, it activates the time that you arrive. Or in some cases, you sign your name. Right? There oh. is a book where you sign your name. Or sometimes it's the security guard that is taking notes of the time that people arrive. All right. right. Any questions or comments? No. All right. So let me go this here. Share screen. Ha, ha, ha. Where was... I 
don't know if it was this one here. See this here? No, I, yep. Give me a second. I press the right ear. Give me a second, right here. Okay, so let's review uh, according to the definition here. Volunteer to read the first one. Which snack does this recipe describe? When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. Popcorn. 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 Yes, popcorn. Popcorn. Number two, what's the last step in making guacamole dip? Finally, salt, and salt, uh -huh. and salt, 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 First cut it in half. Yes, first cut it in half. Number four, which sequence others are not interchangeable? First, first, and first and finally. First and finally. First and finally. Okay, so the first one was popcorn. Any questions or comments, people? Nothing. No. What is another form to say pop? Like popcorn? Do you guys remember Popeye? Let, let me put it in the chat. Popeye. Remember Popeye? Yeah, in Spanish we say Popeye. Popeye. But what is Popeye? Now imagine... Popeye's face, are the both eyes open or only one? Just only one. Only, only one. one. So when you see the, his expression, he's something like this. Yes. Pop means open. So open eye, just one, making one. And that's why you call it popcorn. What happens when you put the popcorn in the microwave? It, it opens, right? Yes. And that's yes. how you get the right things, Popeye's. Oh, oh, oh. Right. All right. Oh. Right. Exactly. Any questions or comments, people, about today's class? No. no. Oh. Thank you very much for this precious hour. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Don't forget, you need to finish the platform. You need to have 80% minimum to be part of the next start level. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Tomorrow. Sleep well. Thank Brush you. your teeth. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista.